Um, for the next example, it says a bucket contains 15 pens, or sorry, so we have 15 blue pens, 35 black pens, and we have 40 red pens. You pick a pen at random, find each theoretical probability. So we're just going to pick one pen, and we just need to find the theoretical probability. Well, we need to be able to figure out what is the total number of outcomes. That if we're going to pick one, what is all the possibilities of the colors we could pick? Well, it could be blue, black, or red. So therefore, 80. So therefore, we have a total of 90. Does everybody agree with me? OK. So therefore, they're asking us is what is the number of, what would be the probability of getting a blue pen or a red pen? Now, if we pick one and we get a blue pen, does that satisfy that probability? It says, what is the probability of selecting a blue or a red pen? So if we pick a pen at random and we get a blue pen, does that satisfy the probability? If we pick a random and we obtain a red pen, does that satisfy that probability? Yes. So really, as long as it's blue or red, we can do that. So um, or is inclusive. So what we're going to do is add the number of blue pens, which would be 15, plus the number of red pens, which would be 40. So therefore, our probability is 55 over 90. So now to find actually the percentage here, I'll just take 55 divided by 90, and I get 61.1%. And I'll just round that to eh, 61%. We'll just round it down to the nearest hole. Does that make sense? So you want to find the total number of equally likely outcomes, um, or the number of your outcomes divided by the total number of equally likely outcomes. 